Hello and welcome to Astronomy for GAN Traders. This is Series 2, Part 1, Cycles, and I am BA from the Wheels in the Sky site. Cycles are responsible for all turns in stocks and commodities, period, meaning each high or low attaches to some previous point. Meaning each high or low attaches to some previous point. In order to trade markets like WD GAN, you must work with cycles, period. It is, the, it is this key point that most market analysts working with WD GAN's writings fail to understand. In his master courses in the section forecasting by time cycles, GAN writes, and I quote, everything moves in cycles as a result of natural law of action and reaction. By a study of the past, I have discovered what cycles repeat in the future. Okay, this makes it plain that he's using cycles. See, cycles underlie everything. You've got all these people running around with uh, resistance levels and GAN fans and, and square of nine. Without proper understanding of the cycles, they don't have a hope at consistent profits because the cycles are the underpinnings. The cycles give you the time component. And GAN says time's more important than price. You think about that. In his these cycles are at the core of the man's methods. While to GAN public, while the GAN public focuses in on GAN angle, square of nine, support, resistance, etc., these elements will have little effect without the proper use of cycles. That is, one must first understand the underlying cycles before you can successfully implement with consistency elements like GAN angles and square of nine. Think about it. With all the modern day info in GAN's writings, why is it why is it that hardly anyone can reproduce his results I will tell you failure to understand the underlying cycles is what's what's slowing people down it's the number one thing that's slowing people down out there failure to understand the underlying cycles first off about cycles there are different types of cycles some are planetary some are numerical for the rest of this video we will be discussing only planetary meaning everything from this point on is is strictly uh, applicable to only planetary cycles each high and low in your market is caused by some form of planetary cycle okay this means if you know which cycle is which cycles are operative in your market if you know which cycles are operative in your market you can call the turns left and right okay you, uh, a couple good cycles to be able to hit all the turns okay planetary cycles go from high to low to high to low the examples on the screen high to low high to low high to low high to low okay this is uh, a plan uh, the operation of a planetary cycle it pivots high and then it goes low and then it's high and then low and it, it pushes up a stock's price or a commodity's price and it pushes it down depending on the direction the cycle is heading okay planetary cycles have inversions in them an inversion is an extra pivot caused from another cycle okay here we have high low high low high high well we were expecting this should be a low what happened here okay this should be a uh, a low because we went from a low to a high next would be a low this is known as an inversion what happened was this is our extra pivot it pivoted down here okay and then it goes up here okay this is known as an inversion GAN deals with uh, inversions in tunnel through the air in this book tunnel through the air an inversion is caused by another cycle okay and they do occur and they are in tunnel planetary cycles also have the issue of orb as one example your mean due date is Wednesday for your cycle pivot let's say we're expecting this high on a Wednesday as an example okay your cycle allows two day two days orb either side 
This means your turn will come in sometime between Monday and Friday, two days either side. A different level of analysis will tell you which day the turn will come. That means that means in, in this area here, uh, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and okay. So and here, this is this high is actually a Monday. Our cycle was due to pivot on a Wednesday. We allowed two two days orb, so this is this is fine how this worked out. Okay, but there's a different level of analysis that will tell you which day it's due. That means if you have a turn that you're expecting on a Wednesday and you got two days either side, it comes in Monday through Friday, you have to bring in another level of analysis and it will it will tell you the day that it's actually due. You have to narrow it down that way. Think about it. How can you trade if you're waiting for a high that may occur between Monday and Friday? You can't. You need to know the trade because they, each time on an intraday basis you see what looks like a high, you'll, you'll want to jump in. You have to be able to narrow it down to, de to days, okay, to the actual day. And that's, uh, and that's prevalent throughout uh, uh, Gann's records. Uh, many people said that he would buy at the actual high and low, okay, and it's definitely knowable in advance. These planetary cycle elements may sound tricky to the beginner, but they can be mastered, creating a high level of certainty to the trader. Where does Gann teach us about cycles? In his book, Tunnel Through the Air, which is known by the true experts as the most important book he ever wrote. Where can you find more information about cycles? www.wheelsinthesky.com or visit us at the Wheels in the Sky at Yahoo group. All one word. The key question is how do you know which cycle a particular high or low is related to? The answer to that is its previous repeats. There are a limited number of cycles in each stock or commodity. Usually two will do it for most traders. I've seen work with like 20 cycles supposedly operative in a stock or commodity. This destroys the trading ability. There's not 20 stocks it, er, uh, there's not 20 cycles in a stock or commodity. There's a limited number, and two will do it for most traders. So what I, what the focus of of this uh, video is to, is to give you the dynamics of what a cycle is. Okay, all of these points in here, all these highs and lows, are caused by cycles. Okay, and it's the interaction of the cycles that produces the pivots and the trends. Okay, without the cycles you can't use the other tools think about it let's say let's say we had let's say we knew this was a resistance level a WD GAN resistance level and we're coming up from this pivot low and we're coming up okay and we're expecting that turn and we we've got that other level of analysis so we've got that orb issue solved we're expecting to turn on Monday and on Monday we're butt up against that resistance level that's what GAN would say would be a good buying or selling point. Okay, in this in this case, uh, it would be selling short. Okay, so uh, you know that's how the elements start to cohere, how they start to come together. But without the cycles, it's you, how can you do this? Because the cycles give you time component. I've seen Fibonacci. You know, I've been around. I've seen Fibonacci and that stuff. That that's okay. But you need something that's more consistent. You need you need to find the cause. That's how Gann was so successful is he understood the underlying cause, and that's what he wrote about in his books. www.wheelsinthesky.com. We'll see you there.